Hello and welcome to Community Matters. I'm your host, Gabriel Riviere-Reed. The Ghost Walk for Charity returns this year and is sure to be one of the most spectacular fundraisers of the year. I'm joined now by Mike and Michelle. Welcome. Hey, Thank how are you, you doing? All right, so for those who aren't familiar with the Ghost Walk, Mike, why don't you give us a little bit of background of the event? Uh, well, it started uh, three years ago uh, just from an idea. I started, um, I used to have a haunted garage where um, we'd have a tremendous amount of people that would uh, come through. They really enjoyed it. So I thought uh, with the, you know, share the passion and do something that would raise money for charity. So we uh, put a board together, um, a fantastic board that uh, helps a lot. We put the, the Ghost Walk for Charity together and we started three years ago and now this is coming into our third year and it's been quite successful. Excellent. And you mentioned the word passion. So mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about that. Obviously you don't do something like this without a love for this season. Yeah, I love Halloween. Michelle loves Halloween. Um, all of us on the board do. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's creative. It's the arts. We have a, a number of actors, you know, about 30 actors. Uh, it's creative sets that we need to uh, design. Um, yeah, it, it's it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun doing it and, uh, and it rewards uh, through benefits to charities. All right, so who are the charities this year? So this year it's uh, Baldwin House, um, Big Brothers Big Sisters and Habitat for Humanity. So each year we do receive applications. This year we received I think just over 20 applications and the board decides on uh, which uh, organizations are going to get it. Uh, the first year we gave out uh, Fifteen thousand dollars. The second year was sixteen thousand five hundred, and we and this year we're hoping to do quite a bit more. Wow! So it's like mm -hmm. super, super successful. It's very successful, and, and all the money goes back to uh, to charity. Um, uh, there's very uh, small amounts of consumables. Um, our corporate sponsors have been excellent from the beginning. This year is incredible. Uh, there's great community support. A lot of volunteers that help with with setup, and of course with uh, the the walk itself. All right, so as we alluded to, it's a haunted walk. Uh, yeah. Why don't you tell me a little bit about past years and what people were, were able to uh, yeah. kind of be frightened of there without giving away too much away for this year? Well, we, we have non-scares. So from five to six, we have non-scares. So any uh, adults that or kids that want to come through at that time. So basically, they're going to see everything. It's just that there's not going to be any jump scares or anything like that. Um, but during the scare hours, it's, yeah, it could be quite frightening without giving uh, too much uh, away. Um, there's a lot of uh, animatronics, there's special effects lighting, there's, uh, this, this year we have five, actual five separate sound systems that are going to be operating, uh, a lot of levers and pulleys and, and it's stuff like a lot of set design. I know Michelle, her husband, build uh, their own animatronics, which is uh, quite interesting and we have other people that do set design. Wow. So Michelle, tell me a little bit more about that and what goes into uh, putting something like that together. It takes a lot of work and a lot of hours. <laughs> uh, my husband, it was his passion, so uh, we started it and we used to do it just at home, like our front yard, and it was great. And then this year, considering where we live now, it's a, not as many children. So this year we thought, do it for a good cause. So Mike kind of asked us to join, and so we did. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned uh, over 30 actors, the board. Obviously, you can't put something like, uh, like this on without support from, from volunteers like that, right? Oh, yeah, the volunteers, it, it's huge. It, it takes a lot of time to set up. Like this year, again, we're in the same spot at 1400 Vincent Massey. It's over 25,000 square feet. We're the largest indoor haunted walk in Canada, as far as we know, like for charity. It's, um, uh, we're hoping for it to be really successful this year. We do have a, a number of out-of-town people. We have people travel from New York City. We have mm -hmm. people from all over the place that, are, that come to... Uh, that want to see this and they see uh, other venues as well um, that really enjoy this. And the fact that it's for charity, um, it helps a lot. People don't mind spending their money. Um, this year it's $6 for kids and it's uh, $8 for adults. Uh, and there's also a family pass for $25, which is two adults and two children. Excellent. So you mentioned the place, you mentioned yeah. the cost. What dates uh, is this going on? So it starts on the 17th. So it's the 17th, 18th, and 19th, which is the Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. And then it will resume on the 23rd, the 24th, and the 25th. And then our Psycho Gala is on the 26th. So that is a, a licensed event. It's a Halloween costume party um, that's been successful in the last two years. And we're hoping that that will be sold out. And then this year, which is different, um, for the first time is we're actually open Halloween night. So October 31st from 7 until 10 o'clock. And that will be 
extra scary. Extra. So that so so anybody that's very brave to come out to that to make sure that they they get there early and and line up because that we're going to have some extra special things on October 31st. Excellent. Well, what better way to spend Halloween or the weeks leading up to it? Yes. On that note, I want to thank you very much uh, for everything you. that you're doing for for charities in our community. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.